Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Ajo here with KissUnlock.com and Red Patea. So, so we're gonna calibrate this, okay? From what I heard in the comments, and then I looked on the bully plot, it says you gotta calibrate. Now, for voltage reading oscilloscope, it's kind of funny you'd have to calibrate right out of the box, but for now, we're gonna just do the bully plot because that's a real simple calibration. So let's come on over here. I'll show you how to do that. All right. All right, guys. So I have the red patea, patea, sorry. And this looks kind of messy, but it's actually fine. Uh, it's this cable here is a nice cable, but it's kind of long. So it comes out of input number one. And we're going to calibrate this thing. So I'm taking the input up to here. And this T connection goes to this long cable. And this is actually a really nice cable. And it comes back to input two here. So input one, it just goes directly through this mating connection. Okay. So the output signal is going to the coupler and to both channels. Okay. So they see the same signal. Okay. So let's come over to the calibration. And here, I'm going to run the calibration. Okay, guys, it turns out in the Bode uh, plots, you really need to calibrate it each time you run a measurement, I guess. Uh, maybe you just have to run it often. I don't know if you have to run it through every measurement. Maybe every ch time you change a signal. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's go ahead and hit the calibration. So first of all, the setup. See this out one? It goes over to what I have a T connection right here going to input one and it says you short out the device under test the DUT so I'm jumpered over so my other cable goes right to there so okay and then it just shows the grounds are connected of course they are because all these jacks the outside jack is all tied to the shield they're all tied together okay let's calibrate it now this is going to take some time so I'm going to Beat through this at probably, I don't know, I'll, I'll let you know, 16, 20 times. But you can see the current step up here, and you can see the frequency right here, okay? So I'm going to move my cursor other way so you can look at it, and I'll speed through this, and I'll probably zoom in on this part of the window. Okay, so it's done. Now, by the way, it went to the full bandwidth, 62.5 megahertz. Pretty darn good, 60 megahertz, that's great. And it was 500 steps, okay? But I'm probably only gonna graph up to 80K. Well, I'm not gonna change, I'm not gonna mess around with this, I'm just gonna say run, okay? Now, I'm gonna speed through this too, but I'll just stop talking now. All right, so look at that, 120 steps, and it went up to 100K. So right out here, 100K. And now, guys, this line's not completely flat, but look at it. This is two degrees, so one degree is halfway through this grid. And so this is like a quarter of a degree. See the green down here? This is phase, so it's like a quarter of a degree. And then the gain, it's barely underneath the line, then it goes above the line, just stays right on top of it, snugs it. So it's like, man, it is. So it's a fraction of a decibel off, and a fraction of a, oh, I'm sorry, the face is over on this side. So two degrees, one degree. Yeah, it's just, you know, a fraction of a phase, a degree off. So relatively flat, right? As soon as we, Zoom these out, like the phase, say, plus minus 45 degrees. This is going to look completely flat. And we go, say, plus minus 20 dBs. This will look, these will look just completely flat. So there you go. So that's why I missed the first time when I, my first video, is you actually do have to calibrate. I'm not sure how often. Maybe it's just when you change your leads and it has to compensate for your leads and stuff. I'm not sure. But anyway, there you go. Okay, guys. So it looked like that calibrated it. And uh, 
You know, I guess we're going to need to do a test, but I just wanted to make a quick, short video on how to calibrate, and then we'll do a, we'll do a test. I think I'll check out a crossover filter, and we'll start with that, okay? All right, just want to make a quick video on how to calibrate this thing. Uh, if you like it, thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And it's Freeway Support Channel. So, all right, guys. Oh, and let's give a big thumbs up to Danny. And the rest of the YouTube members, thanks so much. Danny's a team member. And two big thumbs up to Patreons. Thanks a lot, guys. Really appreciate your support. I went and bought some more connectors than that. And that makes it all possible. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I guess we should give two thumbs up to Red Pataya for sending this out for Pataya. Sorry. Uh, yeah. So... I want to do some more testing with this. I want to see, because this it's a neat little board, and if it can do all these things, uh, 14 bits, just sounds really cool. So um, let's do it. Okay, guys, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.